so I'm sorry I'm back on photo booth again, but only temporarily just for this video. Um, this is my 14 weeks pregnancy updates. It's going to be short and sweet in comparison to like, you know, last week's. But yeah, baby is currently the size of a lemon. So that's quite cool to know. And if you're wondering what's going on with my hair, because it, there's just like two orange streaks here. And like it fades to like a lighter orange and then a yellow. Well, my hair isn't styled at the moment. I've kind of got a mohawk going on in my hair because it's just like messy and I've had it up in a scrunchie all day because I really couldn't be bothered. But basically, I dyed half my hair orange because I only had like the littlest bit of hair dye left. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. My head's kind of like all over the place. Um, I've not been feeling very good in the sense of like happiness because I had a lot going on in my personal life really that I don't really want to touch up upon because it's private like stuff that's annoying me just I don't know if you guys have ever been in that position where you just like no matter what you do no matter what you say like you know it's just you constantly feel like you're getting slapped in the face that's kind of how I feel at the moment um but I don't know, it's kind of weird. I feel like the nausea has been coming back a little bit too, but I think that's down to stress. By the way, I'm wearing my pyjamas again. <laughs> Thumbs up for pyjama vlogs! Because I feel like normally out of all of the other weeks that I've had, I've really like, I don't know, I've had lots and lots and lots and lots to say. Whereas I don't really feel like I've got much to say for this week because I honestly have just felt so shit like mentally, like not in a bipolar way or anything like to that extreme, but more so I've just been feeling depressed because of some things that have been happening in my personal life and it just seems to have really put a crappy mind set in my head and I just can't stop thinking about negative things and how, you know, I could have ended up in such like, without touching upon what's happened obviously, like, you know, I've just ended up in this really awful position that makes no sense because, I don't know, my head is such a mess because like, you know, when you you see something a certain way and you believe something and then like you get shit thrown at you and then it gets misconstrued and then it just alters your own reality in a way. I don't know, it's really strange. I've never really been in this position before and I think that's probably why my head is such a mess. But you know, what they say, like my boyfriend gave me some really good advice. He said to me that like what's meant to be will be. It's best to kind of let things calm down, write down all your thoughts and then when you're ready, sort out whatever you need to sort out or yeah whatever and I just kind of feel like focusing on my pregnancy has really really helped me at the moment because it's kind of took my mind off you know what's going on but at the same time my mind just keeps coming back to this horrible thing that's happened and then I've got like just the stress has really been affecting me and I noticed that I started to feel more sick but I think that's down to like the nausea is down to stress plus pregnancy as opposed to like you know oh I've also been getting ligament pain in my lower back and you know out front and I've noticed that at night time I get these little twinges like this can sound really weird now saying this on YouTube it's a weird thing to say on YouTube but you know these twinges I've been getting weird twinges in my groin like the strangest feeling it's like pins and needles and it's like what the hell and I asked my midwife what it was and she basically just said that it was growing pain ligament pain it could be like my uterus you know, stretching, and she says it's perfectly normal to feel that, so that's reassuring, but at the same time, do I think it's a boy or a girl? Still got the feeling it's a boy. Um, oh, oh, also, I now have a Doppler, so that's something really, really good to actually, like, focus on, apart from the stressy side of things. Um, my friend Ellie sent me a Doppler and a post that she found at the RSPCA, so thank you so, so, so much, Ellie. I should have mentioned this really like earlier on but like it's really lovely like really thoughtful of her to send it to me and she basically she sent me this Doppler and as soon as I got it like I, I tested it out and I heard the baby's heartbeat for the first time like properly and it really just made me feel so much better like my mind was just like at ease knowing that the baby was okay you know due to all the stress and other things that have happened and it sounded like a train track and also when I used the fetal Doppler the heartbeat was 135 I don't know if that's correct I don't know if it's the Doppler or 
like you know I don't know how accurate this Doppler is because from what I can gather it's quite an old Doppler but 135 normally around that it means boy because they say that boys have slower heartbeats than girls and girls tend to like have like a high pitched like heartbeat whereas this is like a train track like when I heard it it was like a train track coming and then going so it's like so I don't know that kind of made me feel even more so that it's a boy also I've not put any weight on like you know my ass or my thighs or anywhere just my belly and my boobies literally just my belly and my boobies so yeah I also got measured the Marks and Spencers you know for new bras because I've been really meaning to do it for a while and I've been putting it off and they basically said that I was a 34D now so I was like whoa because I had like my suspicions that I'd gone up two cup sizes but I didn't think that I'd gone up that much so that's kind of like what 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 so yeah I've gone from a 32 or 34B to a 34D apparently but I've noticed with these new bras that like when I tried them on in the store they were comfortable and then when I sat down in the cinema and I came home when I was you know doing my own thing it was like the I don't know it was just not comfortable anymore so that kind of sucked so I'm going to have to go back and sort that out so I noticed those bras aren't any good I'm gonna have to replace them for sure so that kind of sucks big time. They say that you shouldn't wear wired bras but I've always felt more comfortable in wired bras so I don't know if that's got something to do with it but I've been told that it's okay to wear wired bras as long as everything fits comfortably and it's not digging in and it's not digging into your shoulders and blah 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 so I might just actually get a wired bra instead. I wanted to keep this nice and short and sweet but yeah yay for fetal Doppler because it's so reassuring to lie there at night. I put a bit of bio oil all over my belly and I just kind of like lie there you know, look for the heartbeat. When I find it, it's so reassuring, like to hear. It's the weirdest thing, like how it, I don't know, even know, it's strange because, like, obviously, I don't feel like I'm a mum yet because I've not held, like, my baby in my arms. And, you know, it's like, I know it's real now, but, like, at the same time, I still don't feel like I am a mum yet just because I'm still pregnant. But like my maternal instinct has definitely kicked in and when I find the heartbeat it's just like instantly I'm calm and reassured that everything is okay like and they say you've got to be careful with like fake reassurance with Dopplers and things like that and that's one of the reasons why I wasn't originally going to get one but it's just got rid of a lot of that kind of stress the stress like is the baby okay isn't that because when you've had a miscarriage in the past or you've had anything happen like you know it, it really does play at the back of your mind when you're worried so it's really good to know that Baba is okay and yeah so, so that's good so even though I've had crap going on in my personal life it's been dragging me down and been mentally draining at least you know I've got my fetal Doppler I know baby's okay and I seem to be stretching and growing so that really does make me feel good and I'm really tired so I really can't be bothered doing a belly shot so I'll just insert a picture that I took a few days ago from a downward angle of the bump here um cravings are more or less the same at the moment kind of have a thing of cloudy lemonade um sipping on that kind of seems to relieve any indigestion I've got so that's really cool I've also been dreaming of cheeseburgers and I really really want a Burger King more than anything me and Niall decided we're definitely going to the cinema next week and we're definitely getting a Burger King, so that is on the cards. And once I have that burger in my mouth, I'm probably just going to die of happiness. Hopefully not die, but you know what I mean. Anyway guys, I'm going to go. My hair is full of hairspray. It's not damaged guys, it's just very messy. <laughs> not brushed. <laughs> can't believe I've not brushed my hair. Oh well, I'm going to take my makeup off for the day get in bed and watch Drop Dead Diva and just try and relax and take my mind off some things that are going on. Just try and not think about it for more than two minutes and I think that I'll feel a little bit better. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions about this stage of my pregnancy then please feel free to ask down below because I've probably not answered that many pregnancy related questions. I've kind of just rambled a lot in this video but I'm so knackered, so tired, so I've not really got much to say. Bye!